radio program in the Ozarks. Sarks. Sarks. The K. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Casey the Round Man Show. It is 713 and 77 degrees outside. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the show. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday. That can mean only one thing. It's time now for Angry Mark Recites Poetry. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, sorry, I've got a bit of a cough. Oh, you do? What's the matter? What's the matter? Are you not feeling so um, well? I think I need a cigarette. Yep, yep. that helps. helps. That helps. Sometimes. That cough thing. Yep, yep. I, uh, I wanted to do poetry this morning on ways to use your fruit. Ways uh -oh. to use your Wait a fruit. Wait a minute. Be careful here. Yes, yes, sir. I listened to the law dogs yesterday and uh, understood the problem with infrareding things. Ways to use your fruit. It's true. All right. If, if you're ready, we're ready here. I mean, we're locked and loaded and ready to rock. Here we go. Ways to use your fruit. One walks past the fruit bowl. You really hardly see. Fruit is kind of interesting and hardly rated G. I was just joking, Rounder. I know I can't be strutting. I bet KC's sitting there with his banana on the mute button. It's a bumpy little rascal that makes you want to snoot. Look it up on the web. It's just an exotic jackfruit. Angry Mark loves his strawberries. He eats them like a louse. Baby, you got the wrong addiction. Bye-bye, Amy Winehouse. <laughs> In poems, some words are pretty static. On trees there grows a guava. I got it in the middle this week. You weren't thinking chupacabra. <laughs> okay, he's even laughing. Oh, yeah, yeah, he can't. He couldn't hardly control himself on that one. There. I kind of like that one. <laughs> With guava, too, yes. Yeah, because they actually rhyme. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> if... <laughs> Try to match words with, with guava and chupacabra. Try that. No, I can't. Can't. I can't. <laughs> now I'm all confused. If Congress women could be citrus, I know that one. I know one that would be grossy. I'd call it a rotten plum. Californians call it a Pelosi. <laughs> Wine used to be from grapes. They grow so plenty, plenty. Now anything is possible. One fruit option is Mad Dog 2020. Yeah! We all know it's not a fruit. We make hash browns with a grater. Hitler put one in his pocket. Thus came the first dictator. <laughs> Twas a challenge this week. I felt French and said, wee oui, wee. Oui. Is it a bird or fruit or Superman or a silly looking kiwi? Doth not know how to end this one with my nemesis previously revealed. It's Friday, lads. Get out there and get your fruitlets peeled. <laughs> I'm wow. not even going to comment. Wow. You know what? <laughs> that was very good. Very good. <laughs> Maybe a little round of applause for Angry Mark. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. With the chupacabra in the middle and the kiwi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he got it all. Yeah, he got it all in there. All right, buddy. Well, I, I hope everybody can get their fruit list. Okay, you know what? No. <laughs> that's it. He's done. Enough. He's we, that's, that's, we've he's, dodged he's a bullet done. as many he's times done. as we're going to. Let's just move on. 716, ladies and gentlemen, it happens every Friday. It's Angry Mark recites poetry, and we, uh, we hung up on him. Uh, 